quality of overall of that kind of calibre. I can't believe it. It is like I'm really happy. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's been a long time and sorry for the very long hiatus. We have now returned for the UK DFBA British Finals, which is a very big show. The last time that I done a show and documented it on YouTube was maybe 12, 14 weeks ago. So that was my very first show, my warm up one. Since then, I've done three other shows. So this is going to be my fifth show now. Season has went pretty well. I've won all the teens classes that I've done and I've won two overalls at the show. So that's what happened in the first one, if you remember that, I won the overall, so pretty much how that works just with bodybuilding. When you win your class, you get qualified for the overall at the end of the day, so all the winners of the classes go against each other, whoever wins that is the overall champion, so I won that at the WNBF, the one that we documented, Sam and I, and then I also won that at the UK DFBA Heart of England, the qualifier, and now we're here for the finals of that show, so there's going to be some absolute monsters in the overall for this show, so I'm not expecting to win this because there's some very large, dense, extremely lean people um, that I most likely won't be able to just compete with just due to my muscle maturity and my age and I can't get as lean as them. But I'm still going in for that one in my team class to hopefully become two times British champ because the last show that I done there, the BMBF British Finals, I won that and that was me one time British champ. So there's this show and then the WNBF, but the big important cool thing about this show that I'm doing today is it could possibly qualify me for the natural Olympia which would be ridiculous that's out in Vegas so yeah that'd be very very exciting if I take the teens title here I'm not entirely sure how it works but it could be a possibility I might need to travel out to Europe to do it as well but we'll see how it kind of goes so yeah really really exciting today base coat of tan is on so it is currently five five no, I'm an idiot it says one five and I've called it five o'clock it's 3.21 right now on the Saturday. The show is tomorrow. I'll be getting my top coat of tan at 9.45am and I'll be competing around 1 to 2pm. So teens class isn't first this time. It's going to be a little bit later on during the day and then the overall will be late at night. But we're in a good position. Since that first show, I went a hell of a lot leaner. But then it got to a point where I was getting too lean. I was just kind of fading away, starting to look like a little bit of a, a child. So then we have been filling back up, we've been reversing out, my food has been going up, I'm eating 3,000 plus calories now and have been for nearly a month and I'm a lot fuller, a lot bigger, a lot fresher and better while still holding that condition because we weren't digging for it and I was losing shape to my quads, my lats, my arms etc. So back to life a lot more now, feeling really good with the physique, really confident, really happy and ready to just do, do tomorrow. So just a rough plan for today, give you guys a little bit of an insight as to what's going on or pretty much for today in general, I travelled down, so five and a half hours in the car, had my first meal before I left, travelled down, second meal during the journey, making sure that I walk a little bit with each meal, so we stopped at a service station just to make sure that I can digest it all right, because I've got a very dodgy stomach, but going back now after getting the base coat on, I'm going to go back to the Airbnb, eat my next meal, and it's literally just chill tonight. That's what you try and do if you've got a show the next day or leading up to a show on show day, and just try to stay off your feet as much as possible, stay as relaxed as you can, just to make sure that your legs don't hold too much inflammation and the less stressed that you are the more your physique comes to life the more that you can uptake the food the more that you just look better in general so that's the plan tonight and just to let you in but yeah i'll see you all tomorrow on show day I got my top coat of tan done at 9.45 so I've been chilling for a little bit they didn't allow us backstage up here and we were in like this dark area so haven't been able to film and I had to get here a teeny bit later just because my car was parked in a big multi-story car park turns out it doesn't open until 10 o'clock so I couldn't actually get here so I had to get an Uber instead and my mum and dad had to go back and get the car etc a little bit of an annoyance but it is what it is it's very easy to fix um, Sorry, there's my mum there and trying to do the YouTube intro. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> um, but no, so we're a little bit later. Um, I fucking lost my track now. Right, sorry for the interruption from my mother there. 
But yeah, we're now chilling here. I think I'm going to be on around 1 to 2 p.m. I don't really know though because they're running half an hour behind. They're starting at 11 now instead of 10.30. So we'll see how it goes. Like we can literally see the show if you want to pan down there. I don't know if, what, bit, what works best, but um, like the backstage area that we're in right now shows the stage itself and you can see the whole show running. Whereas with other shows, you were like secluded away at the back and you couldn't see anything. You didn't know where the show was. So it means we can actually keep up to track with it and it means I can figure out when I'm on. It's not going to be too stressful. I can eat with plenty of time and it's going to be a good day. I'm really excited for it because the arena, the venue itself is brilliant. This is my most kind of anticipated show. This is one that I've been looking forward to the most. UK DFB run their shows very well. It's like military run operations. Like once they get going, when they say you're on, it's usually you're on at that time. So yeah, um, very much looking forward to it. It's going to be a good day. Base coat is on, as I was saying. And now just time to chill out before we head on. And I'll see you then. Two times British champ, so that is me, the UKDFA Teens British Champion. We've got the big old medal, or the big old medal, then the big old trophy. Really good class. The top three, um, Tashan, who came second, very large legs. I was looking across at them when they were about to call it the winner. I was like, holy shit, his legs are massive. Quite scary. Alfie, who came third, is just absolutely peeled. Looks really good as well. So, yeah, really happy with taking that. Now it's just a case of chilling out for the rest of the day. I don't think we've got any content to be pumping up for the teens, however, it was just a case of getting back, getting it done. Finn got some, had a wee look at me, sorry, beforehand, made sure that he knew kind of where to put extra glaze, make sure my tan's all fixed up, and then Big Ken 
there's A110, A110 is the best by the way, Nikola and Ken, but we got all that sorted backstage, headed down, got my pump, um, and I've been going for like half an hour anyway, so yeah, it's been really good, just chilled out, really nice venue again, like the fact that you can see the whole show going on, and you're very, very involved with everything, like it's so much easier to keep a track of, so yeah, really good day so far, enjoying it, and now it's just a case of chill the fuck out put my feet up, lie down, mostly to sleep for a good part of the rest of the day because that's when my legs come to life when they've not got a lot of weight on them. So it's going to be good for the overall. There's some stupid, stupid athletes in the overall. If I take that, I don't know. Like, it's very, very unlikely. But yeah, I'm going to go, sorry, I'm going to go enjoy it, have at it, make the most of it and yeah, season a bit. to compete at the universe, which is, not the whole universe, at the universe championships, which is in two weeks in Bucharest. So buckle up, you have another two weeks worth of dieting to do. That is each and every UK athlete. So in the audience, you are looking at not all, but a good chunk of our UK team who will come aboard and represent the UK DFBA. Once again, they will be clad in where to gym clothing. However, what you really want to know is who has won today. And your winner today, who will receive the trophies presented by AJ, once more from NBW. AJ, if you would take that winner's trophy today to Richard Marks! <laughs> Big round of applause. Gentlemen, everybody, can I have you all in? All the athletes, all our class winners, and AJ, Loz. Are you in the glass? Get yourself up on stage. Add some beauty to this ugly room. Okay, gentlemen, can you all face... Yeah, all put your arms up if you can. Try and get in as close as you can. Thank you, and one just of our winner, Richard, with AJ and Loz. 
Thank you. AJ Wells, one tour with Richard. Number one. And number two. Thank you very much. Right, are we rolling? Hello, everyone. So that is us wrapped up for the day. Show day complete. It is time are we on 20 to 8, which is a little bit earlier than I thought. I'm really happy with that. In terms of the overall, over the moon. I didn't win it, but that was a British final standard overall. There was ridiculous athletes on there. Chris Palin, who's got the most shredded glutes and shredded everything I've ever seen in my life. Richard, so Richard Marks, I believe his name is. Um, Adam Powell's client. If you've never seen him before, go search him up on Instagram or search up Adam, because that guy is terrifying. Now, in the overall, I was the first in general like to come out in the show in general. So, in general, in general, Jesus. But like in the show, I was the first one out in terms of the order. So I went out first for the overall. So I was at the very, very side of the stage. And then they eventually called me to center stage. So they said 147 or 40, 48 switching and going between 33 and 147 or 133 and 147. And that was center stage. I thought they were going to move me just to the complete other end to be moved center stage and a quality of overall of that kind of caliber. I can't believe it. it is like I'm really happy I've not won the overall. But the last overall that I've done, like it's a complete different calibre, the, the level of athletes. So yeah, I'm over the moon. There is now the, I think it's called the INBA Universe. So that's at the kind of European Championships and that's held in Romania in two weeks time. So I think I might be doing that. And then that would qualify me for the natural Olympia in Vegas, which would be absolutely sick. Realistically, before I had planned to do the WMBF UK, but that's the same day as this Romania show. So I need to speak to, to, to Finn and see how things kind of pan out. But to be able to go to Vegas would be pretty cool. So we'll see how it all goes. I'm not getting my hopes up right now. I don't know how it all works, but it looks pretty promising. So very, very exciting stuff. An extremely productive show day. That is me now. Five for five from the season in the teens class with two overalls as well. So never ever thought it would be like this in terms of my first debut season. I thought I would have been teeny on stage. The fact that I would have been so light and so small compared to everyone else, but a genuinely dream come true. So yeah, that is everything. I'm gonna go possibly, sorry, my mouth's so dry competing, like takes it out of you, like your mouth gets so dry, so dehydrated. I've got my hydrofoil here. Oh, exciting announcement as well. Forgot to, since the last time I've had a YouTube video, I'm now sponsored by Pit Stop Nutrition, so it's a kind of local supplement shop that they deliver all over the UK. Code Josh10 gets you 10% at checkout. They do literally everything. So they do your Perform flavors, so your Perform way. They do your Hydroflow, which is in here, your hydration supplements. They do your general health supplements. Absolutely everything. So that's exciting. I completely forgot that I hadn't told you that. So some Hydroflow here to hopefully get some hydration back in me. But I think I'm gonna ask Finn and see if we can maybe go for a wee Nando's or something, because my parents are here, they've traveled down with me. So yeah, that is all. Adios everyone and goodbye, goodbye.